50 feet, 50 yards. I think you got a dead turkey, the Longbeard XRs. So in the second part of my video on turkey hunting for 2018, we're going to take a look just at some of the materials that I used this uh, past weekend when I went out to pattern my gun at the range. On the far left of the screen, you can see the extra full turkey choke uh, from Remington and uh, the full choke sitting right beside it next to it, very small. Uh, then we have, uh, I put some target loads initially just to pattern the gun, figure out where it actually shot. Uh, you can see those in the blue box there, the challengers, uh, they're an eight shot. Then I put some five shot, uh, two and three quarter inch shells uh, of the Imperial, they're, they're older there. You can see them in the gold box on the far right. And then of course I followed up using the loads that I plan on hunting with, which is the Longbeard XRs from Winchester. They're a three inch uh, shell ounce and three quarter, uh, number five shot in those ones. So let's get to the patterns and see what uh, those shells actually gave us through the 870. This was just uh, at 10 yards with the target loads, uh, the number eight shot. I just wanted to kind of see where my gun shot, see if it shot a little low, see if it shot right. And it kind of shot, I felt, you can see just most of the pattern seems to be kind of in this lower quadrant. So I knew it kind of shot maybe a little bit lower. Maybe that was me. So the next one that I ended up moving up to was uh, I still stuck with the uh, the number eight shot. Um, I moved 20 yards with no choke. And you can see how few pellets actually hit the target uh, in at, at that distance. So that is 20 yards, uh, number eight shot, uh, two and three quarter shells, no choke on the on the rifle. Uh, so we slip in the full choke, same shells, the, the Challenger shells, and here's what we end up with. You can see most of the shots ended up over on the on the left left side here but uh, so that's what we ended up with at 20 yards with the eight shot uh, now we switch to the imperial shells from the number number five shells and this was the full choke with the uh, imperial number five ounce and uh, ounce and a quarter and then we go to the extra full uh, the same shells number five so a little bit better pattern at least we're getting something in there Still not very tight. So then I moved everything back to 40 yards. And this is 40 yards with the extra full turkey choke, the Imperial shells, number five shot. And there's the Winchesters. So we pulled out the Winchester long, uh, long beards at 40 yards, and we got a much better pattern on the on the on the target with uh, a number of shots in the head area there as opposed to, I think there were only two, two shots in this one in the head area here, whereas here there's considerably more. So, and that's just switching the, uh, the only difference between these two ones is switching the, the shell to the Winchesters. So that's taking a look at everything with the, um, with the paper targets against the light where you can see them a little better. And that's the, that's the paper targets that I was showing you there, just all along here. So let's take a look now at the splatter targets. Because these ones work a little bit better to see. So the difference in these two targets here, they're both Winchester, both using the X, uh, is it the XR long beards. This is with a full choke. This is with the extra full turkey choke. So you can see quite a bit better grouping up and around this area, whereas not, not, as, not as tight there between the two. Both these were at 40 yards. So taking a move over here, so this is 40 yards with the extra full choke. This is 50 yards with the extra full choke. Still a very good shot in the head area. Now the, the thing is at 50 yards it still had enough energy to punch when it hit the target to knock the target over. Only when I moved out to 60 yards, and this was 60 yards, could I no longer was there enough punch in the shells to knock over the target and not only that but it was also for my eyesight it was really hard for me to make out the center of the target and the head of the turkey against this background at 60 yards so I'd say my my vision is going to probably limit me down into this area whereas uh, it you know, I know they advertise these shells they go out uh, quite far but uh, this this would be probably beyond what I could shoot uh, and see comfortably uh, but definitely 40 50 yards with those shells certainly uh, 
no problem getting some some pellets where you need them to go. So definitely this year after I do the scouting, when the season finally opens and I get out in the field, I definitely will be using my Remington uh, Turkey Extra Full Choke, and I'll be using the Winchester XR Longbeards uh, when I go out. And uh, hopefully, if I do come fortunate enough to see a bird, hopefully that'll help me out. Thanks for watching.